Sven here for getting out their gear reviews with the Hoka 1-1 Challenger ATR. Promised to be the Clifton of the trail, you're probably wondering if it lives up to the hype. Stick with me to find out. I'll cut to the chase. I love these shoes. For a guy who loves off-road running, this shoe really hits a sweet spot with enough trail specific features to keep my feet happy while out on long training runs. The Challenger ATR is light, nimble, and stable. It has a great feel and is obviously well cushioned. I've put well over 500 kilometers on this shoe, many on long runs along single track, rolling trails, and semi-technical terrain in all types of weather. It's got a great smooth ride that I enjoyed both on my long training runs, as well as a racer at the Vermont 50. Hoka's minimal no-so upper and lacing system give it a great foot. Locked down in the midfoot and heel with lots of room for my toes to splay out in the forefoot, just the way I like it. I was worried that with so much cushioning, 29 millimeters at the heel and 24 millimeters at the forefoot for a five millimeter offset, I would lose a lot of feel. But the rockered profile, minimal heel toe drop and two layer midsole give a really great semi soft feel on the trail. The shallow outsole tread and lack of a toe cap mean you're better off staying away from really steep technical and gnarly terrain with a lot of mud or loose debris though. So why do I love these shoes so much? I'll give you my top three reasons. The rockered profile gives me the little extra I need to push on the downhill on the trail. No matter where the shoe strikes the ground, I get that little bit of a rolling sensation that reduces my effort enough to be noticed. The shoe is super light. At just 8.6 ounces, it's a featherweight, particularly when you think about how much cushioning there is here. And even though it's got a maximum cushion and super lightweight, it's still got great control. My recovery time is shorter. Whether it's the added cushion, the rocker profile, the comfort, or some other magical feature, I found that I'm able to push for my long training runs and not feel as fatigued as I do with other shoes. I'm hoping to get another few hundred kilometers out of these, but rest assured that when they die, I'll be scooping up another pair. And I think that's the best endorsement I can give. For those who want a maximally cushioned shoe with good feel and is super lightweight, the Hoka 1-1 Challenger ATR provides a great high mileage trainer for the trails. If you want to see colors other than these black green flash and check out Hoka 1-1's entire line, check out their website at hoka11.com. For Get Out There gear reviews, I'm Sven. Now get out there and go for a run. You'll be glad you did. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for all the latest shoe and gear reviews and check out our race channel for reviews on the latest events.